Greg, big challenge against South Africa last weekend and another huge challenge in the scrum against Georgia this weekend. Yeah, it was uh, a bit bittersweet from the weekend. Um, I suppose one of the things we or well, push as a coach is to be disciplined in what we do and uh, you know, not giving away cheap penalties like collapsing and, uh, and pushing before the ball comes in and those sorts of things and, and maybe in that preparation we probably focused maybe a little bit too much on that and not the job at hand. And uh, so that was that was disappointing from my point of view, and I know some of the boys were disappointed as well. And Georgia present a, just a bigger task, if not bigger, this week with their four pack and their their season campaign is with um, in the top 14 and Kubrash Philly. Those got sort of guys that they're big men and they love the scrum. So it's going to be a good test to see where we're at. In terms of the opportunities that are arising, you know, I, I know Jack has got a good run now with Keane out. You've got other guys coming in to, to camp like Young Tyke Furlong as well. You must be excited to be working with these guys. Yeah, it's good, and it's and like I said earlier, with all these the few of the injuries that we've, injuries that we've had, it's been a great opportunity to, to to look at these guys, get them in, see how they adapt to the international environment, and at the same time. Um, throw them a bone and say hey this is an opportunity for you as well and if you step step up at training and can, can compete against the boys in there then um, that, that goes well for the future but in saying that we've got to get our weekends right this weekend right and uh, that's where we've got to put the priority into and I think we trained well today um, so hopefully um, we know it's going to be a stern test um, this week so hopefully uh, things will go good. In terms of scrummaging practice, I mean, how much how much time can you, can you allocate into the the physical hitting a scrum machine or scrummaging against you know live scrums, and how much time do you have to do uh, in, in analysing the other team's hit? Yeah, there's there's varied amounts of time um, on the paddock. It can vary week to week depending on bodies you've got available, depending on the, the closeness between games, and um, and those sorts of things. So, um, and then when you look at opposition that's inside, that's on the computers and guys can spend as much time as they want doing that. Uh, most of these boys learn by doing so we, we need to be able to do stuff that is constructive to to uh, improving ourselves but getting a good um, cohesion and that's the challenge at inter international level is bringing everyone together and getting cohesive in, in the systems that we have and um, so that, that's, that's basically what the priorities are in, in, a, in a lot of ways. But, but as, a, as a former front row yourself, you'd, you'd probably just like to do an hour's worth of live scrummaging, really, every session, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, and, and I suppose with the new laws, um, you can't do too much either. It's, it's but gone to the days where there was 50, 60 scrums at training, you know. Um, nowadays, um, you can actually get good quality training in six or seven live scrums, and as long as they're really good, you can get quality, and uh, boys, are uh, they walk out of it feeling they got something out of it too, you know.